Support yourself. This Saturday is the National Price Hike Day. Energy and broadband bills, water rates, taxes, even NHS prescriptions, the cost is likely to rise in April, if you name it. Some increases will occur on April 1st, while others will occur next week. This will put extra pressure on bored families struggling with rising food bills across the country. Claims 2.5 million households hijacked or defaulted on pay-to-pay, -pay, domestic spending, loans or credit card payments in March according to Consumer Champions, nearly 2.5 million households missed or defaulted on pay-to-pay, -pay, domestic expenses, loans or credit card payments in March, which Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey said this week that inflation will decrease in the summer. But that means prices will rise less quickly than the current 10.4% on the Consumer Price Index, a level that Chancellor Jeremy Hunt called dangerously high. There is some good news from high inflation, the state pension and many benefits will receive a 10.1% increase next month. But many families and retirees will wonder how to save their money from boredom. Follow our action plan to tackle it. You may find that the potential savings completely offset the impact of price increases. Is it possible to save on electricity bills? Although wholesale prices have fallen, the energy crisis is not over yet. The government has confirmed that the current energy price guarantee cap on energy bills will remain at £2,500 per year for the average household. Households will still pay more from April 1st. The Energy Support Scheme, which provides six installments of £66 and £67 per month, is coming to an end, meaning households will be £400 worse in the months ahead. But some help is at hand. Low-income households will receive tested benefits, such as universal credit, £900 in three installments. In addition, 8 million retirees will be paid £300 in a single installment next winter, alongside winter fuel payments. Those with certain disability benefits will also receive an additional £150. Electric Shock Energy Support Scheme, with £66 and £67 monthly installments, ends this means households will be £400 worse in the months ahead households can realise significant savings by making simple changes to the home environment. Throwing away your dryer can save you £70 a year on energy bills, according to the Energy Saving Trust charity. Turning your thermostat down 1 degree saves an average of £145. According to comparison site U-Switch, turning off devices such as televisions and music speakers from the wall when not in use can cut bills by £55 a year. Instantly save money if you have a combi boiler by lowering the flow temperature, this how hot the water is before it's sent to your radiators. Cutting that down to 55C could cut the average annual bill by £112, according to independent consumer advisor The Heating Hub. Energy company Octopus claims that using an electric blanket a bed, instead of keeping the heating on could save £150 gas bills for three months. While this will increase energy costs by £400, you can save a combined £532 by avoiding the tumble dryer, lowering your thermostat, using an electric blanket, turning off appliances, and lowering the temperature in your boiler. Typical price increase £400 per year potential savings £532 per year energy bills how to save and what you need to know broadband and mobile device costs are rising telecom giants BT, EE, Sky, Virgin Media O2, Vodafone and TalkTalk will increase bills tens of millions customers under the price increase rates included in contracts, starting April 1st. Customers across all providers will face inflation reducing increases of 14.4%. This means that the average user who currently pays £333 a year for broadband will see bills increase from £47.95 to £380. 95. If you're having trouble paying, ask your provider if they offer a discounted social plan that's usually priced around £10 or £20 per month. 
To qualify, you must have some form of welfare support, such as a universal loan or a retirement loan. Broadband increases customers across all broadband providers will face inflation distorting price increases of 14.4%. You can also save money by threatening to change supplier or by getting a better deal over the phone. Customers who negotiated reported savings of an average of £43 per year. Questionnaire TV and broadband customers who moved on and switched to a cheaper service that still fit their needs saved £213 on annual bills. How much can you save on broadband? Broadband and TV deals are something people rarely change, but still offer an opportunity to save hundreds of dollars a year. Check for the best deals in your zip code with our broadband by a finder powered by broadband options. Compare broadband and save on yours. Namads.dailymail.uk8 n manamanibil sartiklia thermpufaxbox. HTML. ID equals mpufaxbox 1 dash. Meanwhile, the average annual cell phone bill is £307, according to Household Finance App Naus. This will increase by £44 to £351. When you enter into a phone contract, you are usually charged for two elements. One is to cover cost of the handset and other is for airtime, that's calls, texts and data packet. U-Switch says almost 8 million people are out of contract and could save an average of £321 a year by switching to a new SIM deal. Broadband and mobile bills could rise by £91.95 and pence this year. But you can offset this with a massive £577 savings by switching to a SIM-only deal, negotiating your contract and lowering your deal. Typical price increase £91.95 and pence per year potential savings £577 per year water prices are rising water charges the UK will rise by an average of 7.5% in April, the biggest increase, almost two decades. Customers will pay an average of £31 more than last year, bringing the typical annual bill to £448. Bills in Scotland are expected to increase by 5%. If don't have a water meter, you will be charged a certain amount regardless of how much water use. Most water companies impose a social tariff for financially vulnerable customers, or those who receive certain benefits, check with your supplier. Consider upgrading a water meter, and if you have one, the best way to combat the rising costs is use less water. According to U-Switch, the average household can save £70 a year by limiting shower times to 4 minutes. Taking 4-minute shower instead of taking bath once week can save £12 a year. These two measures will reduce your bills by £82 a year and save you from the £31 bill increase. Typical price increase £31 per year potential savings £82 per year prescriptions will rise the price of an NHS prescription increases by 9.65p or 3.2% from £9.35 to £30 on the 1st of April. The cost of prescription prepayment certificates that cover multiple prescriptions are given price increases from £1 to £31 and £25 for three months and £3 and £50 to £111 and £60 12 months. If you buy a large number of prescriptions per year, you can beat this price increase by purchasing an annual prescription season pass before April 1st. The bitter pill to swallow the price of an NHS prescription increases by 9.65p, or 3%, from £9.35 to £30 on the 1st of April this would cost £108.10 a year for two prescriptions per month, while purchasing them individually would set you back £224.40 a year. At current prices, someone paying two month with a prescription can save £116.30 per year with a season ticket, £228.50 for three items month, and £340.70 for each month. Buy a season ticket online at nhs.uk on 0300 330 1341 or at a pharmacy.
Also worth checking.